Day Television Company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. News from Western Armenia. Festival of Almond Tree Flowers to be held on Aftomar Island of Guam. Turkish mass media concerned over genocide against Armenia's maps in Jerusalem. Armenia and Georgia closed borders for 10 days on mutual agreement. The Abu Fortress in Javakh will be renovated next year. The water level of the longest river of western Armenia, Halis, has risen in the central part of the town of Sebastia because of snowmelt. In summer, because of the scarcity of water, the Halis River turned into a little river. This year, due to the abundance of snow, it has become more watery. Water level is expected to rise more in the coming days. After the harsh winter with the warming of the weather, birds of spring, the storks have begun to return to Mush. A bus hit the truck on the Aksaray Adana Highway. According to the preliminary data, 44 people were injured as a result of the crash. In one, it was decided to postpone Nauru celebrations because of the coronavirus. When almond trees bloom in western Armenia, the Akhtamar island of Van is flooded with visitors. With turquoise blue of Lake Van, the blossomed almond trees and the snow-covered Mount Arthos, the island gets a fantastic view. In this occasion, a festival will be organized which is important for presenting the city to tourists. Spring in western Armenia is definitely the most beautiful in Van. You can't find another place in the world like this, surrounded by history, beautiful lake, blossomed almond trees and snowy mountains. The festival will be held at the end of March. Turkish media have focused on English maps fastened on the walls of the Armenian district of Jerusalem. They are dissatisfied as in the maps titled as Genocide Against Armenians from 1915 to 1923, the territories of the Ottoman Empire are fragmented. Turkish circles fear that if they remove the maps fastened by the Armenian church in Jerusalem, Israel can arrest them on charges of restricting freedom. Even if the maps are removed, we will replace them with the new ones, the source said. It is also noted that on the map, Ottoman Turkey is divided into two parts. In the western part, it is written Ottoman, in some eastern parts, Armenia, and in the southeast, Kurdistan. It should be noted that the red depicts the region where the Ottoman Turkey exterminated the Armenians during the genocide. Starting from today, Armenia and Georgia closed borders for 10 days to prevent the spread of coronavirus. The decision was made following the telephone conversation between Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and Georgian Prime Minister Georgi Kakharia. The parties, however, agreed to facilitate the return of their respective citizens through a humanitarian corridor. Meanwhile, no restriction will apply to cargo transportation as a transit corridor will also ensure for freight. This year, too, the research works will continue in the Abul Fortress area. Renovation works are expected to start next year. In September 2019, representatives of the Center of the Preservation and Study of Culture Monuments began archaeological excavations in the Abul Fortress. The main purpose of the excavations was to compile documents so that the monument could be included in the UNESCO World Heritage List for further protection. In the conversation with the genius Becca Baramidze, head of the public relations at the Georgian Cultural Heritage Protection Agency, said, In order to present the monument to UNESCO, we need to complete management mechanism. It is about research, conservation, renovation, and at the same time, a management plan has to be developed. This project is a long-term decision that will take six years. Now let us present to your attention a song by Hayren Ensemble. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.